Alison, can you tell us what your community was like before this project happened? Well, before the project had happened, the, the community was, it wasn't really a community, it was people knew each other, but they weren't really involved in anything and there was nothing here for the kids to do. There was no parks, no nothing. So I think the project has made a big difference to this area. It's gave us somewhere for the kids to play safely. I mean, our area was dominated by road. So now that that's all been taken away, so you don't have to worry about children being getting hurt by cars or anything. It, like that. it was like they asked you how you felt about them coming in and putting parks in and things like that, which was really good. So mm -hmm. it wasn't like they decided they were just going to come in and do it and leave it at that. They wanted the, everybody's in the community's ideas and what they thought about things like that. And did many people come along to those meetings? Yeah, they were actually really quite busy. So I was, I thought it was quite surprising. Um, you just generally think, oh, they put a park in, that's fine, but something for the kids today. But I think it was generally quite surprising to realise that so many people were interested in the fact is that they were planning on doing this major change and how it was going to affect the area that we were living in. So, so how did it make you feel, like the process of being involved? Like, did it make, did you feel like you were listened to when you came up with ideas or suggestions? Oh, yeah, it was. We did, um, as I say, we, we started going, just regularly going to meetings and things like that, and then through the process, Southside had or started to develop a group called Friends of Halfway Park, which I am obviously the chairperson of. <laughs> that sort of, I don't know how that one happened, but that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we we'd all we started making regular meetings and sitting asking people in the area what they would like to see in the park and things like that. And we did uh, so the housing would involve the committee. For our group, the Friends of Halfway Park, plus and all the regular community and everything that they were deciding, they send regular updates, regular newsletters and say, well, this is how far we've gone, this is how we've got on with funding. And so it was, we were well informed about everything that was happening. Um, so. And so what's changed in your community as a result of everything that's happened? Do you know, I found that the community has came together a lot more because before, obviously, families weren't really out. It was just kids out running about. But now there's so much space that... Families will go out and will sit outside. I mean, through lockdown, a couple of families were having barbecues and things like that. It was, and everybody was just involved and you get to meet more people. Yeah. Before, I think it was just, you saw somebody say, hi, that was it. But now it's like you actual, you will sit and you'll have an actual conversation with somebody. I mean, so. The park has been super busy. And it's not just for our community, it's for anybody. So anybody from another community wants to come along and it's, and that's good because it means that other communities are coming over and going, well, Look at this space, it's quite interesting. So yeah. we would like to you know, try and get like, a wee community garden because we were talking about using it so the rainwater would be coming off the roof and we could reuse that water. Yeah. So that's something that we can still look into, obviously mm -hmm. down the line, because I think they did put the structures underground yeah, for so Being involved in the community and all this work that's happened has actually really helped me. It's helped my mental health. So I think that's another side to it as well. Yeah. So I think just going from just being a resident to actual being part of a community, we were a part of that. Yeah. We we made a decision on things like that. So yeah. 